Hello there guys, what is going on? Son of Chelsea, back again for my rational perspective on Chelsea 1, Liverpool 2. Uh, another defeat at home for Chelsea uh, in the same week, 2 in 7 days. Um, but my, my feelings and, and takeaways from that game were of course a lot different to the ones I took away from Valencia. And it's a different kind of frustration because... I think as the crowd illustrated at full time and as I think many of us fans will will take from that game was uh, the spirited fight back we, we showed in that second half. You know, 2-0 down, we looked at points like we could have conceded much more to a, to a really impressive Liverpool side. Um, but that second half display, the fight we showed... Um, the character we showed to, to keep fighting, to get back into that game and had chances and had bad luck during the game. Mount's left foot, if that's, you know, an inch, a little bit uh, to the right, um, that game probably ends 2-2. But those are all things that, you know, we can discuss and say about luck and fortune and what goes for you and what doesn't go for you. Um, I think overall there are more positives and negatives, although we did, of course, lose the game. But um, I think when you come up against a side of that ability, um, who are so much further down the road in terms of their development in, in Liverpool and what Klopp has done there, um, I think Lampard, and I'm sure like most people, will, will take away the fact that Chelsea did cause them problems. And on another day, we could have got a point, we could have got more than that. Uh, different things in different games, you know, It's and the hope is as the side develops, they take things like that and improve on them. And then instead of just small bits in games, actually you're getting a result and um, you're turning over teams like Liverpool. But want to start off with the the team. Kante, Emerson and Mount all started, um, which was a real positive. Back to a 4-3-3. Um, but early on in the game, uh, Emerson goes off for Alonso. Now I can only assume that that's because uh, he wasn't ready for the game. And my worry is... Uh, does that mean we're going to have to lose him for longer now? Um, which which is a bit frustrating. So he comes off. Um, we go, was, I think it was after we went 1-0 down, I think, uh, when Christensen came off as well. So that's another injury to one of our centre-backs. Um, just injuries just pile up. We've got some sort of hoodoo or curse on us this year. I don't know what it is. But Christensen then goes off. Uh, Alexander-Arnold uh, scoring a free kick. Sp spoke before about it, about his quality uh going forward for Liverpool and just that free I mean nothing it's a smart free kick um set piece that they clearly worked on Kepa can do nothing about it and then we're, we're a goal down um but I once again thought the, the side responded well they went up the other end we had a Tammy Abraham chance we had we were we were moving the ball quite well and outside of set pieces I think we really matched Liverpool once again and uh, looked like we could get in behind them and then of course we have to come to the ruled out uh, offside goal um Mason Mount's left foot is the reason why that game wasn't 1-1 at the time. And uh, oh, it was just, it's, it's one of those things, isn't it? And it was interesting. I was watching the Leicester-Tottenham game yesterday and the way how Leicester, uh, sorry, Tottenham were 2 new up and then they have the uh, goal ruled out and then literally Leicester a couple of minutes down the, down the line score an equaliser and then go on to win that game. And I think it was the same for Liverpool, that sort of boost of the crowd, the Stamford Bridge crowd going crazy for, for the goal. And it gets ruled out. Their fans are boosted. Their players are boosted. The game, the complexion of the game has changed. And then they got the other end, another set piece. Um, and it's a free header for Firmino. We're two down and there's a mountain to climb. Um, I think we have to come to set pieces once again. Not only Marcus Alonso's marking in that, that set piece and how poor it was. The fact that he's one of our taller players and he wasn't first to that ball. Zonal marking. We can discuss zonal marking, um, man marking. Um, both have positives and negatives to them but I just think once again it's been a general problem I can think back way to pre-season um, where we were conceding goals easily from set pieces and we have already this season I think about Leicester Valencia uh, today there's been other games as well where we are too fragile from set pieces and Liverpool could have scored more we have to take that into consideration at the start of the second half uh, Firmino had a chance that was a brilliant save by Kepa and uh, Mane had a header Every time they got a set piece, even if it was at first, it was it was not only just the first phase as it kept on being called. It's that also that second phase. If Liverpool were to take a shorter corner, um, it always seemed no matter how much height we had in the box, a uh, red shirt was always there. And it's something that isn't just specific to today's game. That has a re a reoccurred and I think is going to reoccur until we fix those problems. Because on a game like today, if you if we had of course, the first one is a thunderbolt. You can do nothing about that. But if you take away the second one, which is poor marking and just a free header, we can win that game. 
or we can draw it. You know, we can. It, it, it stays at one nil, and we get one goal, and then it's a different. The game just completely changes, and it's just too easy. As we've consi consistently talked about, you know, Wolves. Of course, uh, that was a header from a corner. It it needs to get better because it's going to continually uh, shoot us in the foot when we're playing well. That at any time a team can get a set piece and capitalize from it, even if they're not really in the game. Um, but in that second half, I want to touch on Alonso because, of course, I criticised him with that, which, of course, is, is is a real negative. But I actually think Alonso was such a good force for us going forward. I, I felt this as well when we've gone up against Liverpool, that Alexander-Arnold does leave space. He just does. And it seemed all the time that when Jorginho picked up the ball, he wasn't being pressed as much by the Liverpool midfield. When Jorginho picked up the ball, he could find uh, space out in that left for Alonso. And Alonso, time and again, would find balls cross crosses into the box mount had that chance late on um i think bashway as well that was from an alonso cross as well there was loads of times where that ball was always on and alonso's quality you know people like to just rule out alonso and i don't think he should be a starter ahead of emerson but i've got to give him credit for a second half display and i've got to give the team credit for their second half display i thought tomorrow looked really good up against um salah pretty much kept him quiet throughout the majority of the game. Uh, One-on-ones was really good in that. And even when Zuma came on, I thought he had a positive impact as well in that second half, um, winning his battles. And I think as the back four, of course, it's two goals conceded, but I think that they'll be pleased with their general performance in a sense because we could have got really overrun in that game. But I think they, especially in the second half, were able to win their battles, made sure Liverpool weren't able to to counter on us that easily and uh, really got a hold of it. And I think Tamori, another big plus for him and another great day for him and another learning experience for him. Um, and of course, we have to talk about N'Golo Kante's worldie. What a goal. I mean, you're just, he takes the ball and you're almost like he's going to pass it off to someone. He's going to, he's going to find someone in a box. And that's, I think, what the Liverpool defenders were thinking. They underestimated his quality. And as we've seen before, when he wants to, he, an amazing goal, an amazing finish, top corner, um, um, Adrian can do nothing about that and it lifts the crowd and it gets, it gets us back in the game and I think the way we just continually went at Liverpool sure our delivery could have been better um, sure our finishing could have been better but I think the way the team kept on going at Liverpool kept on giving them a hard time and of course that Mason Mount chance at the end uh, it's a difficult one because it's he's having to do it almost on a hard volley it's a it's a drill ball in and he's you know it's not the easiest chance to finish um, and maybe you know still a young player a few years down the line, he's able to to put that in. But uh, and as well as interesting, Batshuayi coming on for Tammy. I don't know if Tammy had some sort of injury, but um, Tammy, you know, he had that one-on-one -on -one chance early on, and that's another learning experience for him. Adrian won that battle, and uh, you're thinking if that goal goes in, you know, it's, it, the complexion of the game changes, and, and it's another learning curve for Tammy. But I actually was impressed by Tammy continually looking like he wanted to lift his players, lift the players around him, always um, putting his body on the line. And I think just generally, I think the, the fans and I hope people look at this Chelsea side and can see, you know, we're fighters. We're, we're going to come back at teams, you know, and other teams could have easily folded in that game as they have to Liverpool in the past. But I think the way we came strong with the crowd um, behind us, I think was a real positive for Frank in the game. But that's the major frustration we have about it is it's another defeat still yet to win at home. Uh, we do have, of course, two chances this week to do it. Grimsby in the cup and then Brighton next week, which... Uh, uh, we need to get points on the board with other teams in and around us dropping points. You know, Man United losing, Tottenham losing. We need to to get back to winning ways in the league. Um, and it's just, once again, it's I, I'll continue to express this. It's w bigger picture, short-term pain, long-term gain. Uh, I think that we've come up against a really good side there and Liverpool are a side that are going to be right up there with City challenging for the title. And you can see that already. You know, even if they weren't at their best today and we gave them problems, uh, that back line uh, just won their individual battles and were able to keep us out in the end even if they maybe got some luck at some times or you know we didn't put our chances away um they are such a well-drilled side and it's one side that you hope that in a few years time when we play liverpool we go to anfield we can sim we can replicate a similar performance and uh win at their place you know um but yeah obviously it's got and I, you know i hate losing to liverpool and that's twice this season already so it is annoying uh, but we need to dust ourselves off i think frank needs to look at it and as I say, we need, we need to take the positives from the game, take the negatives. It's 
quite clear set pieces um, just we need to fix up on them because that is just going to constantly be a frustration in games uh, consistently throughout the season if we do not fix our marking at set pieces um, but yeah we move on Grimsby I think that's going to be a good chance for rotation good chance to see Reese James and Callum come back and get them in the team get them some minutes as well as like the likes of Gilmore hopefully we'll see and then of course next weekend at home to Brighton a really good chance to get our first Premier League win at home uh, this season so thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video tell me your thoughts on the game and everything I discussed in the comments below. If you did enjoy the video, hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell to never miss an upload. Follow me on Twitter at Son of Chelsea and I'll see you again.